it's all about trying to get everybody home safe. The people who are on the system and the people who transit through it and the people who work on it. And that's our goal. We got to get everybody home safe. And one of the most important places that, that we have during the summer, especially the summer season, is our work zones. Uh, when you see orange, you see signs, cones, all of those pieces, flashing lights in the night, uh, that's an indication that you should be paying attention. Uh, distraction and inattention are one of the main reasons that we see issues, crashes in our work zones. And those crashes can be horrible. We reduce the speed in most of our work zones. Pay attention to that, reduce your speed. We have oftentimes to narrow lanes in order to have enough room to do the work. When we can, we separate the work from the drivers and the walkers and the bikers, but we can't do that all the time. Do the best you can and follow directions as you go through the work zone. Move over and give the workers room. They're pinned to the area they're working in. You've got more mobility, you can help with this. All work zones in Oregon have double fines. You should expect some delays in our work zones. Sometimes we have no choice. We've got to slow people down, move them over, stop them for a few minutes in order to do critical things that have to happen in the work zone. You'll get direction. We'll do the best we can to let you know what's going on and to try and make it as pleasant as possible, but if we're going to improve our roadway, improve the ability for everybody to get through there, construction happens.